Scott, another clinical performance. Would you say we're, we're playing beyond the expectations? No, I don't think so. Um, perhaps by some over in this part of the world, they won't know much about the Knights or our players, but certainly internally in the team, uh, there was confidence that we could, could win that group. I thought it was a strong qualifying group as well. So for us to perform as well as we have and dominate it as well as we have, I think shows where the guys are at. Uh, do you think that Wigan played this the third third game at that stadium? Do you think the Wigan was different than previous nights? It looked flatter actually in this one. It wasn't quite as sideways. Uh, had, didn't have the same sideways movement. Didn't swing as much for our two guys at the top, which we thought uh, might be the case because Mumbai uh, needed to win, so we thought it was going to be a bit of a flatter wicket. But it was still slow, which is what we've experienced so far. We're still catching the back end of the rainy season, so the wickets are a little bit tacky. Um, but I thought we've adapted really well to what we've faced. As you did, 3 for 21 from 4 overs. Did you change the way you bowled on that wicket? Uh, yeah, the last game had a little bit more pace and bounce to it. Uh, swung around a little bit. Um, and just sort of followed the lead that, that Trent and Tim Southey showed us. So it was a bit more seam up, whereas this, this particular game, it was a bit more cross seam, a little bit more cutters um, with the odd quicker short ball thrown in. Well, Tasting about 130, a great start again by the two openers, Kane and, and Debbie. Yeah, we knew deep, you know, deep down that we only needed to get past 50 to, to qualify ourselves for the tournament. So once that was ticked off, uh, we could go on and try and concentrate on winning the match. And I thought we did that really well. The two guys up front, were outstanding. They have been the whole tournament, so it's uh, it's quite nice to watch as the as the old timer batting and hiding down at six. Now we we, we get to um, stay in Rightport for the next couple of games, which we have played three games at. Um, Cape Cobras on Friday night. What are your thoughts on them and any of their key players? Yeah, they're a good team. I played against them in the South African comp about 18 months ago, so. Uh, so I will have some experience about what those guys are about. So um, they're a very good side. That South African competition is a good one. Um, they've got some internationals in their own right who are playing well. But you know that the beauty of, of playing well in the qualifying tournament is the fact that uh, you can take some momentum through. And we've had some con games on these conditions, and they're very different to what those guys have experienced. So you know, if we hit the ground running, which I'm sure we will, uh, you know, we're a good chance. Thanks, Scott. Good luck for Friday. Thank you.